Well, heterosis is powerful. There's no doubt about that. I mean, very old animal scientists like Bill Beale will confirm that. Uh, I mean, they, they spent a lifetime building that information. And in all seriousness, heterosis is a powerful, powerful tool. No one will argue that. Certainly not anybody from Gardner Angus Ranch. But when we look at heterosis, those things that, that are most important, i.e. reproduction, calf livability, that's where it, it's very, very strong. When I say we can compete, and a lot of times I'm, I'm working with cattle, if they're crossbred cow herds, how we can bring our information, our predictable cattle, into their scenarios to hit targets of economic magnitude. So the efficiencies that we gain and the predictability that we gain with our pure information allows us to hit these targets over and over and over again. The additive value of heterosis and breed complementarity, I mean, nobody can take that away, but I can add pounds of efficient growing, uh, correct composition cattle, i.e. marbling and muscle and stature, uh, much more consistently because of my information. If we had that same information, say, in other breeds, you could do even better. But the, the reality of the American Angus Association's database and its vast numbers allows us to hit targets over and over again predictably. If you, if you look at composite bulls and consider composite bulls, the, the power of the heterosis and what it can do, there's no doubt about that. But what you cannot replicate let's say you find a composite bull that, that helps you hit these targets, you're on an information island. All, all you're buying is, is heterosis. And while that's powerful, it's hard for me to replicate that process aside for, for the heterosis. I'm talking about the additive value of known quantity genetics that have efficient growth, that have the predictable calving ease, have marbling, have muscle, um, and, and have maternal components that can replicate the process year after year. So heterosis is truly important, but we can do even better by implementing heterosis with our known values, our known quantities of predictable designed cattle.